think it actually oh, well, trying to, it was, it was some one of the times at 5v5 their uh, their manager Patrick was like dribbling the basketball in the back and then he like kind of knew the camera was on Cooks and then started to show out a little bit yeah I hope the audio started <laughs> on because I mean I wouldn't want to hear that if I'm playing because they're not even wearing headsets so it's like you're hearing that noise on top of just hearing people talk so it's like just a bunch of voices going so i hope the stream is everything that you would like me and scott were saying right definitely it was kind of unfortunate in a sense i'm like dude like hey you still got one of the one of the better gifts that have probably been used in season one is when you're in the Cavs jersey, you're playing on the away side, if I'm not mistaken. Our game plan for the week is to still try to win every game. We need one win to clinch the one seed and get a bye, but we also still want to drive ticket. Thank you so much, Jazz. And yeah, JT, I was kind of thinking the same thing, right? As like, you can scrimmage 3v3, but with how many reps? So in a sense, even though they're one win from clinching, it's always something they can get better at they can learn other teams prepare even more because that's what made them it's one game and it was in the finals i think yeah um i could be wrong but i think a lot of it is like i we talked about this early in the year like you got to airball but you got to fit to like you know your strengths and that's definitely a strength for vandy 100 percent for like too many teams try to do the opposite they try to do it whatever as Vandy getting bumped full court there by Dossix. And they go on a wolf. This will be for the... It just because there's always like okay now no one has to step up and be like i don't want to say the fake vocal leader but you don't have to rely on uh, guys that don't have much league experience in that regard coming through and it can make you, your job easier that's when it's like okay cool i can just play ball i don't have to worry about getting him to do this getting him to do that Whichever team drafted me, we're going to the playoffs, playing in August. And I asked him, how do you carry that over? You already spoke into existence. He said, I believe we are... On the inside, goes back down to Dossix. Now to Cooks, five seconds to work with. Thought he had some space, shot goes up, and offensive rebound comes in. Dossix for the win, pauses. For him coming into game three, but let's get it back to JT, Dirk, and Toxic for more. There we go. Uh, we'll see if the trend continues in three versus three, where whoever gets the Snickers all of a sudden just starts to go crazy throughout the rest of the series. A toxic scares me because it's a lockdown getting it this time. So unless we see him go crazy at the defensive end, maybe he gets some threes because him and Vandy run the pick and pop. Guys, and I heard you got more about this exact same subject. I do because I spoke. To I spoke to Crazy and I was like, I saw the tweet where Bear mentioned you and he said, when I saw that tweet by Bear about the MIP, I honestly didn't think much of that because I'm not settling for just the most approved player. I want MVP. Uh, I would say a replacement level player in the NBA 2K league. He didn't even get retained on that Lakers gaming team. So now you can make an argument that he has been maybe the best defensive power forward or best two-way power forward. He doesn't deserve it. Just most approved to me is the biggest jump. And it's no jump when you don't play. You got 15 seconds to work right here for Bandy. Wolf's going to be the one setting the screen. Dawson's playing under it. They'll go back for the reset. It's his stamina all the way back up. Five seconds now to work with. Wolf, can he be open there for the pop? He's gonna take the oh, shot, he greens. Shot. And Joe Mark gets that first initial bump. They'll go back for a reset now, half court. Under 10 to work with. Cooks to the left, back to the right. And takes it back to the right side, and he greens it. Two possessions, but five points or less. I don't think 25, 21 to 15 is close. Party, what do you think is a close margin? Yeah, I kind of just like commentating the games and I always go with like what kind of adds to like the intensity of it. Is it? All right, talks. <laughs> we'll see if Bucks can close it out. <laughs> we'll see. Come on, James. Hey, Justin, back. back with a three. <laughs> the Pacers trying to make this one interesting. 
and they go for the blitz. Vandy does get a three. It's early, though. Running out of some juice as they go to Cooks. Over to Dossix. Vandy wins it and slams it home.